exactly six. Six days away from the Indianapolis 500 and this morning we're talking pit crews. They work incredibly fast and are as efficient as humanly possible. We're not talking about snake pit crews. Oh, okay, that's a got completely it. different story. Here. Oh, These, are yes, the pit would be. These guys are fast, but also <laughs> efficient. So have you ever wondered while watching a professional race if you could trade tires as fast as the pros do? Well, in this week's What's Driving Indy, we take a look at the second greatest spectacle in racing, a pit crew playoff. Oh, you only have one nut. It's easy. Like, yeah, okay, try it. After all, how hard can it possibly be? It is easy once you figure it out, but it takes some practice to, to get good at it. If practice makes perfect, you could call mechanic Jake Cole a masterpiece. I actually went to a vocational thing through high school, got into auto body painting, and then I got a job painting Indy cars from there and I've been stuck in it ever since. Stuck in high gear, Cole has never looked back. He'll be tirelessly trading tires for Stefan Wilson's racing machine during the greatest spectacle in racing, a dream he's had since. Since I was a kid, you know, I've always loved the Indianapolis 500 and racing and to be a part of it is pretty awesome. But as I discovered, doing is a whole lot different than dreaming. Watch as Cole works in full speed. He's wearing green gloves on the left of your screen. First thing, the car comes in, the air jet guy plugs in, the fueler is usually already plugged in before the car comes up. My job, I want to have the wheel nut off before the car comes up, so as soon as it comes up, I can get this tire off, get it on, because I'm trying to beat fuel. So a full take fuel takes roughly six seconds, so I want to be around, you know, four and a half seconds so I can get the tire off, on, and then make a wing adjustment if I need to and get the heck out of the way so he can take off. All that in seconds. How hard can it be? Three, two, one. Six. Six seconds. That felt good. But not that good. It took Cole just over six seconds to swap. It took me more than 10. You may not win a race from a pit stop, but you can definitely lose a race from a bad pit stop. So when it comes to rolling out these racers as fast as you can, leave it to the pros. Just absolutely incredible when you see the side by side there. Yeah. He already had the tire on <laughs> and I hadn't even picked it up yet. And we're talking, you know, minor seconds yes. here, six to 11. So he beat me almost like half the time that it took me to do it, but just crazy like to I'd see that. I still say 11 seconds yeah, isn't so bad good. Good for just doing it. And those tires are 35 pounds, the whole oh, thing. So it's you're heavy. like, you know, really fast. And I'm not sure exactly how many times they do that during a race, but a lot. that's a lot on your knees too. Because oh, you're just yeah. like, he slides in there and you're getting it done. But a really lot. cool to have that opportunity. And I'm not sure if we're allowed to do this, but I know which car I'm rooting for. Oh yes. Now in the Indy 500. You're allowed oh, to do it. You're allowed okay. to do that? Right, okay. Number absolutely. 24, Stefan Wilson and the whole crew. Thank you for having me out there. That was a whole lot of fun. Hey, there's a lot of work that happens that people don't even realize. That's right. A lot lies on them. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. for the race. So that's really neat to see that behind yeah, the scenes. Behind yeah. the scenes action. Good.